Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you that good vibe of insight or just give you that uplift that you really needed for that day um please go ahead and share and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video and the video i'm about to do right now is twin flame 101 seeing ourselves and what we thought we were experiences of growth and healing shows us exactly what we weren't you know veil uh veils will uh continue to be lifted you know we, it just seems like you know we can be going through a um moments of uh chaos and confusion you know basically you know it's, it's all about you know i guess it's just like if you want to really see it it's about psychosis not psychosis but it's just like we, we can be in that vibration of doubt vibration of fear you know uncertainty with ourselves uh not having confidence and there's different things where you make you feel like you're just one thing or you know you're on that certain vibration until you're allowing yourself to actually really step outside the box you know really think differently uh seeing things for what they uh you know what they truly were you know um and then it's just like when certain things hit us in, in a, a, a unexpected way it starts showing you what you are from multi-dimensional levels you know how you are when you're focused how you are when you receive clarity how you are when you can see the antidote of what you needed to overcome in a certain obstacle you may be facing or you continue to face um because a lot of times you know if we still focus on something and you're receiving the answers a lot of times if we stay focused on that one thing and not allowing ourselves to branch off and see you know let me let me allow myself to be open and um allow myself to just go with the flow and seeing what you know what is being taught towards me of what i need to learn what do i need to heal from what what route i need to take you know do i need to pause for the cause do i need to allow myself to really you know go meditate because a lot of times you know with all the changes that we're going through it's like they're 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 heavy on getting out into nature you know meditating you know getting out in the nature if if the weather permits it you know because some places right now it may be still cold certain places is like really stifling hot you know or it could be rain you know some people like going off in the rain and stuff like that um but it's just like we're unfolding so fast you know and they're just telling you that time sometimes you gotta pause sometimes you gotta isolate yourself you gotta go in seclusion you know so you can be focused on you on what needs to go in and when you're doing that you can be so sure of yourself you know when you go through things you know because it's like you know if i really want to think about it like when i first started this i i didn't know what was going on i was still stuck in stuck on stupid like no this, no this ain't my life no this didn't happen where was i going where was i at when all this stuff was going up under my nose what, what, what was going on and it was just like you know you you had to be in the dark for a minute to be able to understand this and now we're we're feeling like this is that time for that truth now everything is going to unfold and you're going to start knowing how yourself, you know, knowing yourself through your pain, knowing yourself through your, your strength, knowing, you, you know, your, yourself from the highs and the lows, you know, uh, the darkness and the light. You're knowing yourself on what you thought you were. You're, you know, you're becoming something, you know, and it's just like when you see different uh, posts when people say it's not really about becoming something, it's really about unbecoming something we were learned in a certain way we, we were uh told that we need to fear this it was told that you know with certain backgrounds you know how much money we got in the bank account where we live at you know you know it's you know the age bracket certain things like this we had to be met in society's quota now it's like you stepping out of that box and say i i go by my own quota not by what somebody tell me i have to be if i want to max out and go above that i'm gonna do that and, I'm, and still there are going to be some more heights that i can get to past that so these are the different things that's going to be you know taking place into our life where it really shows what we are and it's like when we finally unveil that truth like to the absolute core 
it, it will just blow our minds like this is who I was you know and a lot of times we try to understand why we got to go through certain things and it's just like we have to be placed in a certain vibration a certain uh, frame of mind for us to really you know want to find our way out like okay if this is getting uncomfortable because you know like a lot of times um, you're in uncomfortable situations where you don't got you know used to that and it gets to that point where you know when you've been doing a lot of healing, you've been doing a lot of research, you've been, you know, open-minded to all the differences that's taking place in your life and you knowing yourself to the core. A whole different core of you, like, I never knew this was, you know, you you not knowing yourself at that vibration because this is new to you. So you, you're unwrapping all these new gifts that you have, these hidden talents that you didn't know you had. You know, you're starting to do things in a different way, so it's you know, you're discovering something else about yourself that you never had a clue that you could be able to do. Or there are certain things that are spiritual gifts that people got to go study for, and it's just secondhand nature for you. You know, and it's just like, you know, there'll be just certain things you would meet certain people and like, hey, you know, certain things that they know would intrigue your mind. Because they know if you go research these certain things, and you're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, this is a gift? This is something special? Man, I've been doing this since I was little. And you're not noticing there will be certain things that you do off the top of the head. And people got to go to school for that. They got to study. You know, they, and then they got to go through grades of it. And it's like yours hits the peak. Like of something that is very extraordinary. And then you're going through all these different things into your life. Where it shows you, you know, I, I can be able to conquer this. I can be able to overcome this. I can face the facts and accept these things. You know, and that's the most thing it is for us to do. Accept. You know, a lot of times it's hard for us to accept that love wasn't placed in certain situations with certain people. You had to accept that's what it is. You know, or you find out, you know, certain people are like, uh, you know, what, what is it, sadists or masochists or, you know, sociopaths, psychopaths, narcissists, you, you had to accept that. Or you have to accept that there are certain things that is just meant to end at that time to branch off to take you to something else. And that's a lot of times we have to be able to accept that truth. And that's one thing that I know a lot of us have to go through with. You know, there'll be certain things that's going to hit you to the core and you, you have to be able to accept that's what that was that whole time and then you have to be okay with it so you can move on you know allowing yourself to you know not get stuck in a, one vibration of feeling something seeing something you know moving on from certain things you know uh being able to take on something different you know you've been going at a certain vibration for so long now god the universe is telling you hey you've been on this vibration for so long we want you to you know we we, we about to turn the directions on this path for you real quick and you're like wait a minute i'm not ready for that you you going about to get ready you about to be ready i always tell you stay ready so you ain't got to get ready you got to be able to be able to you know stay posted expect the unexpected you know challenges and change can happen at any time you know, doors are opening for new, new, uh, you know, uh, adventures, you know, new knowledge, new uh, appearances, whatever. You, you know, you, you're changing every day, every second. You know, that's why a lot of times it, it, people may know you from a vibe you were before you got healed. You know, when you were just like whatever, a whole hot mess. Now you are that person where you appreciate what you went through. You see the things that you went through and you see where the change needed to take place. You see where the healing needed to take place. You appreciate where you were then to what you are now. And you're allowing yourself to be that person is just like, you know, yeah, I went through these different things in my life. It's not something I want to be proud of, but it created something so much better because I went through these things for me to be able to accept being able to be transparent from those different things and learn so much for what I shouldn't have done to what I should do and what I'm capable of doing. You know, and those are the different things that's taking place that, you know, you can look back and be like, Dad, you know, I needed that in my life. It rocked the boat for me, but shoot, it showed me so much more that I was the captain. You know, I can, you know, direct this in any kind of way I want to in this ocean. You know, being selective about, you know, what kind of environment did I choose to be in where I don't need to be in um, and to move forward with that. You know, the beauty in transformation. You know, there's so many different things that, you know, it's been revealing and it's been hitting us hard lately. You've been going through ascension phases 
that really is like hitting you in that sore spot you know you things are being ripped off and you weren't even prepared for those things to come ripped off you thought you know yourself at a certain vibration or whatever then you, you start to uncover certain things that uh that you you had to let that soak in for a minute <laughs> you know it's just like different things you had to soak in for a minute you know and then you're starting to shock yourself by so much that you're soaking in into your life and you know and it's just like it's extraordinary but it also it's scary you know it's kind of confusing and it's like that's okay but when you're allowing yourself to be open towards you know stepping into a new vibration that you're not aware of you know and they're telling you don't get so used to what you're used to you know, you've been, you know, we get comfortable at a certain vibration because we've been there for so long, you know, because it's like change is really, it can be challenging at sometimes, you know, that's with anybody, especially if you've been at a vibration for so long, you did certain things for so long, and then God telling you, okay, now it's time to switch up. Come on, get ready. <laughs> you know, you want to break the middle. <laughs> so I will. Can you slow down a minute? No, you got to catch up. You got to be in tune, you know, and these are the different things that shows you. You know, because a lot of times we fear, we hold doubt, we hold uncertainty, we hold, uh, do we have what it takes to go to that next level? You know, universe, God, done put this, this, you know, to start this invention, this, this moment of how I can put things together. I don't know if I can do that. You know, I don't have the right materials to do this. You know, different things like that start popping up. You've got so many questions got more questions than you do answers and he's telling you just to trust the process you're unfolding in ways you know you're seeing things from a different view you know you, you're at a different perception than you were before you know you dropped a lot of different things that held you back you know you 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 uh let go of a lot of things that kept you stagnant and then when it gets to that point you know you start looking from the outside in and you see like gosh you know it's pretty interesting. It's breathtaking, you know. I can be able to guide myself towards anything, you know, if I allow myself to give myself that chance to be able to do it. It can unfold in ways that i never seen coming, but I won't quit. I won't give up. You know, I know days might get hard. I can take a break and come back and regroup. regroup. And that's what you're doing. Because it's just so many different things in your life where life will show you so much of what you thought you were. You know, unveil this mess like this is not who I was. This was a figment of my imagination. I thought I could do this. I thought this was happening. I thought it was this. Because we lived and breathed and we made it through illusion for so long. And all of a sudden, you had that, that wake up, that wake up pill or that wake up coffee. <laughs> you really showed you and I'm like, wait a minute, what's this? Because even it, it's just like you're becoming something else, especially it's just like if you're living day to day and it don't feel real anymore. You know, things start feeling detached. You know, because you're, you're not a part of that world anymore, but you're seeing you had to be there for a moment to be able to allow you to go to that next step, that next vibration, to be able to see, you know, I needed that part of myself. I needed to fall. I needed to cry. I needed to be angry. I needed to be stuck in confusion for that minute because it showed me so much of myself where the finishing touches of, of growth and healing, knowledge, you know, uh, be open, you know, be fluid with so many different things in my life because I, I, I earned this transformation. You know, I desire to be something different. You know, not saying that I, I don't like where I came from or I'm not proud of being me, but I've been me for so long. I'm ready to br bring something else new to my life. You know, because it's not like you sitting up here saying, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, this is beneath me. These people are beneath me. No, it's like you, you, you've been in this adventure for so long. You've been on that ride for so long. It's boring. You know, let me really see what I'm capable of doing. Because, you know, some people are scared to, you know, uh, step off into that because you don't know. You know, and it's not saying that somebody's weak, but that's, you know, we, we are in that human experience. So we don't know if we have what it takes. Some people are not willing to take that chance. But then it's just like there's some of us that has no choice but to take that chance because it's, you, you, you can't stay there. <laughs> you know, God was like, no, I, I don't pluck you different than the rest of these people. You know, and pluck them different. You know, there's like many are called, but few are chosen. They don't call to qualify, they qualify the call. You know, and these are the things where it's hitting that button that is peaking. And you're going through it right now. There will be so many different things where you can get up and you start looking around and it's like, 
I don't feel like you know it, it will be you know anybody that is not woke is gonna be looking at you like you're crazy but when you see this it's like this ain't me no more this ain't a part of my life no more like I, I knew that life I knew like this is my bed you know this is my my house this is this but I don't feel a part of it anymore like this is where I had to be it's like it was a simulation for a certain minute you know a certain play I was playing for a minute now I'm ready to go ahead and start on this new thing on this new level and it's been doing that through the things that you've been choosing that was better for you, that was nurturing towards you, that was going to be that food to the soul, that was going to make you love yourself a lot more, being open-minded towards everything that you weren't, you weren't equipped to be able to touch before, but you were ready for it now. You know, we've been keyed about that so many different times. That's why, you know, I, not, I noticed a lot of us at empaths, we have a lot of head injuries. A lot of head injuries. If it, it ain't the head, it's the back. You know, and I see a lot of people like, Ross, my back is messed up. <laughs> I get a lot of headaches. You know, I've been, been having things where I got into an accident or, you know, I was in a, you know, violent relationship where I used to get punched in the head a lot or, you know, different things like that where you have constant head injuries because it was just like in something, it was prone for you to even have like sicknesses that should have took you out a long time ago. You know, I've been like that in and out of hospitals when I was little. I, I'm I don't like hospitals now because I stayed in them, you know, as soon as I was born, you know. And it, it was just like so many different things where it, it was just like the devil tried to take you out because he knew it was going to come to a purpose, that you're going to make an impact in some kind of way. And these are the different things you had to experience because it's, it it's just like from what I'm seeing and what the visions they show me, there's so much knowledge, so much vibration that comes from the spine to adapt to the brain. And it, it's just like that vibration, it, it, it tweaks your nervous system, you know, in certain ways where it opens doors, it opens new thoughts, it opens new actions, new knowledge is soaking in. And it's just like no matter how much damage you done had to the dome, it's something that's going to tweak that. And it's just like, you know, it was sent to hurt, it's going to help in a lot of different ways where, you know, you start seeing things, it's like, dang, if it would have been a person that wasn't, uh, called for this certain situation it, it would have probably been like a sensory overload because sometimes we can get that way when we get so much insight so much knowledge at one time like we have to rest a little bit or it'll be sometimes it's hard for us to articulate and be like man wait a minute because <laughs> it'd be one of them words or something that you can't it, it, no matter what you do you can't even express it can't even pronounce it articulate nothing you're like look give me a day or two shoot, give me a whole week or maybe even a month and come back and we, we can get this on like popcorn you know and it'll be different things so it's just more that you start losing focus on what's not important into your life what was supposed to been that door supposed to been closed when you actually have that strength to say I'm gonna leave that door closed never want to look back and say what if you know uh, is it going to change or you know if I decide to reroute myself or if I close the door on certain people or certain situations it, is, is it something that can reveal that and it, it was just like you know universe tells you if it was you would know but this is at that time where we need you to be focused on you know that's why it's like you know when you're in a car the windshield is huge and the rear view mirror is small you know, as long as you see that you, you know, ain't nothing trying to hit you coming up front. What's important is what's in front of you, you know, what's in front of you, you know, just like the side view mirrors. Those are not, those are small for a reason, just like the rear view mirror is, you know, and those are the different things that it shows you. And it's just like, allow yourself to appreciate every chapter of your life that you don't move to the next chapter, you know, to the next book, you know, to the next category, next genre. These are the different things that molded you to be who you are. This is what made you dangerous. This is what made you untouchable. This is what made you that fierce, you know, that, that fierce vessel that you've always been. You had to remember that. But the way you had to remember that is through accidents, through tragedies, through drastic measures, through different things that you should have died from a long time ago, but yet you're still here. You know, you don't had near death experiences where those near death experiences is connected you to the other side for you to be able to know certain things, being able to view certain things you shouldn't be able to do. You know, and that's the reason why when you start allowing yourself to have courage to step into the unknown, 
and you had addictions before this was and a lot of times we don't realize those addictions done keep something that opened a whole new door too because a lot of us I, I you know i tell people real quick i don't judge nobody you know ain't got time to you know we all got our issues we all got our problems there's a lot of things that we fight against that people don't know about you know there are certain things that we still hold on to that it's time for us to let go you know and this is at that time right now um but a lot of times it's like with us as empaths we have some kind of addiction some kind of uh, uh coping mechanism you know and people a lot of times when you think about addiction they're automatic, automatically thinking about drugs drugs no it's not just drugs it could be drinking it could be uh relations you know a lot of times people you know feel like they can get over things through having sexual relations with multiple people because they feel like that's the cure to every problem that they have or you have people that have eating disorders or, or they are self-harm, different things like that. Then comes liquor, pills, and hardcore drugs or, you know, even marijuana. You know, all those different things. I'm not saying marijuana bad because there's some people that can really get into that balance with that. You know, with me, my situation can't do it no more, you know. But uh, it helped me when I needed it. But it was at that point where, you know, I can't use it anymore. You know, if I tried, that mess probably had me going. I would probably be up on the side of the roof clucking like a daggone rooster. I can't do that no more. So it's just like, because people are like, Rosalind, when is it time for me to give it up? When you asked that question, that was that time. Because <laughs> you already know it. There'll be a never a time when you're doing it. When, when it comes to that time for you to release that, because now you don't need it to get to your higher self. You don't need to, you know, use a, you know, a herbal stimulant to get there. You're already there. But, you know, whoever does it, it's like, you know, you do what you do, you know. Uh, I don't try to, you know, feel no, you know, shade, no shame on nobody with that. You know, we all deal with stuff how we deal with it. Because it's just like with impasse, I tell you, if you ain't got no kind of coping mechanism, you ain't got no eating disorder, self-harm, or you ain't did no kind of drugs or alcohol or whatever, you know, you a good one. And you tell me what was your daggone remedy. Because, <laughs> you know, we deal everything at a hardcore rate. And we feel things in a lot deeper vibration than other people do. And it hit us hard, especially depends on the gifts that you have. Unknowingly and knowingly, you know, a lot of times you can invade people's thoughts. Or you can, you know, you, you can connect strongly to the dead. Or you one of those soul collectors that, you know, when somebody getting ready to die, they're going to give you that spiritual announcement. Hey, you got somebody else going through you. They got to go to the other side. Yeah, and you're going to feel what transitions they went through. And you may feel that in stigmata type ways. You know, different things like that. To where you like, man, look. <laughs> I'm like, shoot, how are you able to deal with stuff like that? But I'll be telling people I, the stuff I got to deal with when I when, when it comes to my gifts. It's always pros and cons. It's a blessing, but it feels like a curse at times, especially when I can't stop it. But these are the different things where it's showing you, you know, life with life what it is within a nutshell. You know, you don't crack it. You know, and you're you're seeing the different codes that you have to get towards that next level you're seeing what you need to do you know and it'll be sometimes we'll use excuses like i'm tired i got too much on my plate i can't do that right now because we fear you know we fear we feel we fail we feel we might not understand we feel like you know we won't be accepted all those different things and that's that time where you, you know you can't stay lenient on on that what if you got what it takes you know if you can put your energy on something that wasn't even for you and you created that as thinking this is my destiny this is going to be a part of my life and it was showing you no that was just an experience and it's an experience for something that, that is an example for not you not to be doing it again and all these different things you can be able to appreciate that you faced you know that you went through that you had to deal with you know um being able to go through a change that um it was unexpected of that and it is just like it's really taking you that to that level because it's like a lot of times you don't realize you go through the worst of the worst because it tells you if you can face this and you went went through this and I mean that when I tell you that that pain hit deep and it hit sharp, you know. And I, I mean they probably ain't got no bandages and stitches for the stuff that you don't face. You know you can get over anything. And that's the reason why we put you through that. But you'll just see in certain things where you can sit back and see. How many times, you know, if I had in uh, N D E, you know, near death experiences, how many times that I'm crossed over and came right back and then when I came over I brought something back with me. It was certain parts of my life that I was supposed to not remember or would it be certain things 
that is like a spiritual gift that I should not know. There will be certain things that you know that has not, you know, came to fate yet, you know, or different things that you predicted that has not came out yet and it comes later and people start looking at you crazy you know <laughs> different things like wait a minute did you cause this hell to the no i didn't it was but it was you know it was like a little birdie came whistle in my ear like hey don't go here this day you know this is gonna happen you know you see different things we feel different things you know something is about to happen that's coming around this corner and it's just like it people can fear it people are welcoming it you know people are just all up in the you know confused section but it's just you know you are unveiling the true you you're seeing yourself for who you are you're proud of it you're not allowing people to take you and tell you force feed you something that's a lie when you when you're wearing your truth there's a lot of people out here wearing masks and they want to be seen a certain way because they need external validation you're ashamed about things they want to be able to make up different lies about their self or you know uh, 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 experiences about their self to form their life is that lifestyle or that person because the truth is maybe not that interesting or or that truth may be too bad or it may be too embarrassing but it's you, you you're just like hey I went through this yeah my life was out that you know just for me being there I'm not ashamed of that because that that created me to be a better person this is what followed me to have a greater path this is what prepared me to show me I had a better path and these are the things that's unfolded in my life and it was a blessing. You may not see what you're going through as a blessing at that time because you may be going through something very hectic. The things that made you want to just take yourself out in one quick fix, you know, but it's going to be a point in your life when you're going to really look back at that tragedy, that drama, that drastic, emo you know, that, that, that drastic event and you'll look at that and that was like that was a turning point of my life becoming a better person. This showed me so much of what I wasn't to show me exactly who I am. And if I didn't go through that, I'd probably be lost in transition right now. You know, if I didn't know, if I didn't go through the things that I went through. And it, it really showed me where my strength is because I done conquered so many things. That pe There are some things that people know about and there are some people that don't know. There will be different things that's been placed on your life and people are so mad that you don't surpass that. You know, certain things that if if he did it with somebody else, it would have took him out. But with you, you can't be touched. And that's something very special about that. And that, that irritates the heck out of a lot of people. And you're okay, but that's the reason why you were chosen. You know, nothing's going to surpass you unless it's meant to. No, nothing's going to touch you unless that contact is going to teach you some lesson that you know, either need to know about yourself or the people that don't sit that towards your way. You know, and God always tells you, don't fear that. Don't fear that, because if, if if I tell you to protect, you're protected, that's what you need to live by, and that's why you need to go forward. Don't go shaking and trembling. You need to fear me. Don't fear what's, you know, on the external part of you. You fear me. And he, even he don't want you fearing him, but it's just like you need to worry more about what he's going to do than what, what else is coming trying to come in contact with you is going to. But everything is playing a part to create something that you never knew you were. You know, you're going to see those different things in your life. Be like, man, this really helped me <laughs> see who I was in a real person. I appreciate my enemies. I appreciate my downfall. I appreciate my suffering. You know, things that was kept away from me for me to go for something else. You know, for things that I thought I needed, people I thought I needed, that made me for something else. You know, and these, it, it's like your reality. You know, your, your view or perception about what's real and what's not, what truth and what's illusion. You're seeing everything, you know, everything for really for what it is. And that was the thing that the devil was fearing that you would discover. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video, y'all. You know, I leave all my contact uh, information in the description box below. Um, if you ever want a reading, I do those. Or if you just want to get in contact with me and, you know, tell me about your spiritual you know, uh, path, purpose, or you're just trying to understand. I try my best to be able to break it down or, you know, being able to give you my insight about that. You know, whatever we speak on is confidential. Um, I leave my link to my podcast as well on there. And uh, if you ever feel like you would 
be nice, you know, be generous enough. That's not nice enough. Generous enough to drop a donation would be greatly appreciated. Cash app is there as well. So I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend whenever this comes out, or if it's like if it comes out on Monday or whatever. You know, I hope you have a blessed, safe week. You know, please be responsible and safe for everything you do. You know, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life to come into fusion. I'm sending so many beautiful blessings towards your way that God gives you so much that you weren't even imagining or prepared for and it comes sooner than you ever predicted it and even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things can really take you a long way and you know you'll see me on my next video much love to you peace